The purchase order inquiries menu may be used to obtain on-page information about purchase orders. This information may be looked up by vendor, job, item, or work order. Receiving information is also available. Some of the common inquiries that clients use frequently are the packing list log, the PO invoice log, and the PO receiving history inquiries. To view inquiries for purchase orders, navigate to Purchase Order and Inquiries and make the appropriate menu selection from the third menu. For instance, to run an inquiry and display all packing lists for a particular purchase order, we would simply click on the packing list log and enter our PO number into this field, then hitting enter, and Spectrum returns a complete list of all packing slips which have been entered into Spectrum for both open and invoiced items on this purchase order. We can also drill further into the information shown here by selecting the specific packing list to view details and images which are associated with this entry. Once you are done reviewing this screen, simply click on the check mark at the top right to close out of the screen, and then close again to return back to the packing list log. Save and close out of the packing list log to view additional inquiries. Alternatively, if we wanted to view all invoices for a specific PO, we could then select the PO invoice log inquiry, fill in the same PO number here, and hit enter, and Spectrum returns a list of all AP invoices which have been entered and are associated with this purchase order regardless of the invoice status such as approved, unapproved, open, or paid items. To close out of this screen, simply click on the check mark at the top right hand side to save and close. Additionally, we can also review a complete list of all items which have been received against this PO by selecting the PO Receiving History Inquiry. Again, simply fill in the same PO number and hit Enter, and Spectrum will return a complete list of the receiving history against this PO, including quantities, amounts, dates, and other information for this PO, as well as any corresponding job numbers, if applicable. To close out of this screen, simply save and close, and save and close again to return back to the Inquiries menu. The Purchase Order module also has its own extensive reporting section, including Purchase Order Status Reporting, which comes in handy for many clients. To generate the purchase order status report, let's navigate to purchase order, reports, and PO status at the top. Let's take a moment and discuss the various options which are available when we run this report. We have various ways that we can sort this report, whether it's by vendor, job, item, purchase order, or work order number. In addition, we can also make various selections on the information that we want to include or exclude from this report by making our selections in the middle area. For instance, we can choose to run a report of all open POs, regardless of vendor, for one job number by making these selections. Once we make our selections, Click on the green preview button at the top left hand side to view this report. When you are done reviewing this report, simply close the tab at the top of this window, or you can also print a copy, 
email a copy, or download a copy depending on your needs. Save and close out of this preview window by clicking on the check mark at the top right hand side to return to the sitemap. I encourage you to review the other reports available in the purchase order module to determine which reports best meet your company's specific needs.